A month ago, a person bought some creatures older than dinosaurs to incubate at home. These eggs, called dinosaur shrimp or triops, can survive for hundreds of millions of years. They usually hide their eggs in sand, and when they come into contact with water, they activate and begin to hatch. After preparing a home for them, he placed the tiny eggs, smaller than the gravel in the aquarium, inside. He installed a special lamp to provide light and heat. The next day, he saw the first sign of life. On Thursday, they stopped sticking to the walls and began jumping through the water. Water. He counted about 13 hatchlings. On the second day, he fed them crushed fish food. In just one day, their size increased about four times. By the seventh day, they already showed their characteristic shape and had grown more than five times. It was impressive to think this species has existed for millions of years. In the following days, they grew rapidly, but some smaller ones were eaten by the larger ones. Survival of the fittest became clear by the tenth day. They no longer swam everywhere, but the container became too small. Since he had an empty aquarium prepared for a turtle, he decided to use it. He added nutrient-rich soil, fine sand, water, and a filter. Once ready, he moved them to the new aquarium. As soon as they entered, they swam and spun while exploring. He thought this meant happiness, but later learned it indicated lack of oxygen. Although the others were fine, they looked energetic. Digging the sand and showing the water was suitable. Triops are excellent diggers thanks to their many legs. Three days later, the one that spun excessively became motionless in a corner. Although its antennae moved, there was no life left. Others also died, but some continued growing. Sometimes during molting, the skin doesn't shed properly and they die. Their companions tried to push it, as if to wake it up or eat it. They are predators, after all. He only removed the bodies. By day 16, three remained, very healthy and strong. He decorated their home with aquatic plants to celebrate the last warriors and added a special lid to help molting. Everything went well, but by day 25, one was smaller than the other two. Fearing it would be eaten, he increased the food. Even so, it was eaten, and the culprit swam away as if nothing had happened. The remaining ones kept digging, preparing for the next generation.